Hi, my name is Greg Ebner with Domino Printing Sciences. I'm here today to show you the Domino X630i corrugated digital press. Let's take a look around. Starting right here at the front of the machine is the Sun Automation Lead Edge Feeder. This is a servo driven feeder. The platen is set up for bottom feeding to optimize operation through top stacking for the operator. It will handle 63 by 118 inch sheet size. The operator can control the feeder right here at this touch panel. This touch panel allows the operator to simply enter the length, width, and thickness of the material and hit setup. Once the operator hits setup, this is a servo driven feeder, so all the motors that control the guides will move everything into position for the sheet size entered without the operator having to do anything else. Also from this panel, the operator can monitor the machine's operation, how much ink they have, their job quantities, any alerts that may come up, as well as when operating, the operator can pull up the camera system. There are four cameras mounted throughout the printer for him to be able to monitor different stages of the sheet movement through the machine. Let's take a look inside the machine and see what we got on under the hood. Right here on the front, you'll see that there are some large sliding panels. The machine's fully enclosed. This is because we have an HVAC system to control temperature and humidity for optimal printing. This is the back side of the feeder. So when the sheets come out of the feeder, they come onto the main transport belt. This is a vacuum driven belt that holds the sheets down as they transport through. This machine belt also has servo motors as well because it has dampeners. So when the operator sets up the sheet size, the dampeners will move into position to optimize the vacuum on the sheet, giving them the most ability to hold those sheets down. As the sheet moves through the machine, it passes underneath the sheet cleaner. This sheet cleaner has its own vacuum and a brush to clean off any dirt or debris that may be on top of the sheet to optimize the sheet for printing to make sure it's perfectly clean. Then we have our bad board detect. The bad board detects function is to look at any sheets that may be deflecting up from the belt for any reason and raise the print heads up out of the way so that the sheets will not hit or damage the print engine itself. From the bad board detect, the sheets are actually transported into the print engine. The print engine is in the cap position right now, which is in the back of the machine. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. But when it's printing, the the print engine will roll forward into the print ready position and then drop to the caliper of the sheet that we're going to run. So the machine can actually handle different thicknesses of sheets. Anything from E and F flute up through triple wall. From here, once the sheets are printed, they're going to move into our dryer section. Our dryer has IR lamps and the door is locked, <laughs> which is very important. Um, the safety system on the machine, we have safety keys which prevent an operator from opening the door while the machine's operating. So this is very important. Uh, here we have the dryer section itself. So there are our lamps that cover the full width of the machine. These lamps will turn on and off based on the width of the, machine, width of the sheet that the operator is running. When he enters his data up front, that automatically configures the dryer. The operator then does have the option to increase or decrease the intensity and or turn on or off more lamps just depending upon what they're trying to do uh, for that particular job. From the dryer, the sheets will enter the coder. This is a roll coder to provide an aqueous based OPV varnish uh, for any jobs that may require it. It has its own transport belt. This too is vacuum driven the sheets will be moved underneath the rolls. It's a full flood and it's a very simple system to operate. It does have a touch screen panel of its own right here. Gives the operator full control over any of the functions on the machine as well as even a feeding control. So should an operator wish to they can come back here once the machine's running and feed a sheet or two and check how the machine is operating before they go into full production. Let me return that safety key, which will lock all the doors back up. When the sheets exit the coder, they're moved on to the uh, stacker belts. The stacker belts will transport the, the sheets into the stack. Uh, 
at the back of the machine where they're collected. This also has a touch screen so that you can enter how many sheets you want per stack and the machine will automatically release and stack that number of sheets. When it reaches that count, those sheets will be, the belts will raise up and those sheets will move out. The hopper will then close and it will begin the stack again. This will be continuous during operation. Let's take a walk around to the back of the machine. Here you see our cabinets for the electrical supply for the machine. Interesting thing about these cabinets is they too have their own HVAC system to maintain uh, temperature for the electronics so they don't overheat. What all this HVAC does is provide that the machine can be installed in a wide variety of environments and operate without too much of a concern about the environment that it's in. Here on the back is the coder's pump. So this is the pump and the reservoir for the coder. During operation, the, you will simply pour coating into the reservoir and turn on the pumps. It's literally that easy. The other nice thing about this uh, system is we've built in an auto clean, which means when you're done with the system, once you've reclaimed the coating, you push a button, start auto clean, and the machine will automatically go through a series of washes to flush out any residual coating and get the machine into a park position for the operator to be able to walk away. The other nice thing about this system is it can be done, the auto clean can be done while the machine is printing another job. So once you're done with a job that needs coding and perhaps your next job does not, you can go ahead and start your wash up here with the coder while you move on to your next job, saving time and being more productive. Back here we have a chiller, which is part of the system that helps maintain the ink. That's our ActiFlow system. Again, that's the ActiFlow is the system that uh, circulates the ink through the bars. This is the ink cabinet. This is the ink supply to the bars. Ink is pumped from here into the ink system and then circulated through the print bars. During printing, as that ink is used up, more ink is pumped automatically from these containers. So these are 20 liter containers and they come pretty much ready to use. You just need to shake them up a little bit uh, and then put them on the scales. Now the interesting thing about this cabinet, I'll show you this right here. As you'll see that these containers are sitting on scales. That's how the operator is able to monitor how much ink he has ready at any given time. So we look at it based on weight. For safety though, this system also has floats that are in the tank attached to these siphons. And that's looked at by the software as well. So even if the operator should for any reason miss the alarm that sounds when the ink level gets low, if the ink level gets too low, the siphons will automatically shut off the ink supply, stop the machine until the operator rectifies the issue. And that's on a sliding tray, which you see there, that's very nice. Makes it very easy and convenient for the operator. Then we're gonna return the safety key so that we can run the machine. Now when it's time to run the machine, the operator's just gonna top stack, as we spoke earlier, sheets into the feeder. Since we have the feeder set up automatically, all he's got to do is put his sheets in there and make sure they're ready to go. In addition, we're going to go ahead and make sure everything's closed up. On a hot day, it's really nice because you can feel the cold air coming out from the uh, HVAC. But we want to make sure we close that up and keep everything nice and safe and conditioned for printing. So when the operator is ready to load their file, they'll simply press the button here. They'll come up to the navigation screen. They'll select their file that they want from a list and load it into the machine. Once it's loaded, they can actually control electronically where that image is going to print on the sheet. So if they need to make a minor adjustment. But once he's got this file loaded, he's ready to go, he's simply going to press start. You'll hear the alarm sound. That warns everyone the machine's about ready to move. 
see the system come up, you can see the blowers come on. So there's multiple blowers on this transport system that move the sheets through. And that's what we're seeing there. So currently right now, the print engine is on capping. It's getting ready to move out, which we will show you here in just a moment. Here it comes, the print engine coming out to its ready position, and you'll see it drop down. Now the machine gives a signal that it is ready to print, and we are going to feed the sheets by pressing one button. The sheets will start feeding. You can see they transport here through the sheet cleaner. Underneath the bad board detect, everything is looking good. See the print engine putting ink on paper, making us some money. It goes through our dryer, through our coder, and into the stacker where the sheets are collected. It is that easy to print full color graphics on our digital corrugated press. No printing plates, no must, no fuss.